Hey yo, my Pisanos and Pickles, it's Dragon Empress here with the Super Dragon Empress Super Show! <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm here to talk about a man that's hardly talked about when it comes to My Hero Academia. He's one of the Mana Liberation Army's workers. Sorry if I pronounce his real Japanese name wrong, I'm not good at Japanese, but his name is Tomoyasu Chikazaku. Let me know in the comments if I get that wrong, but his villain name is Skeptic, or code name, since the Meta Liberation Army is very secretive. They're mainly a secret society that wants people to be free to use their quirks whenever they want. For example, in My Hero Academia, only heroes and other people who have a job or people in school get to use their quirks and certain people aren't allowed to use their quirks because it's against the law, such as for stealing or something. I find this very fascinating, and I wish the show went over this more, but they only go over this in the um, My Villain Academia saga, and I find that disappointing. And just like that missed opportunity, this character, Tomoyasu, or Skeptic, because I can't keep saying Tomoyasu is a missed opportunity, so first of all, let's start on his motivation. His motivation could be summed up through his one quote in the wiki. And that quote is... Yes, muster the warriors. In the way that's simplest for you lot. The League may rub me the wrong way, but their influence certainly is some uses. Rudy Estiaru himself saw the light and hope they represent. It makes no difference whether or not the League of Villains are true liberators, destined to accept this mission and burden. Hold them sacred. We shall endow them with divinity. Once Tomura Shigaraki has destroyed all, we shall sow the seeds of the future. What he mainly means is that he wants the um, Meta Liberation Army to build a new future after Tomura Shigaraki destroys everything. They want to start the old world over, basically. Which makes sense in a way. It makes more sense than the villain from Miraculous Ladybug Kofma. Oh, I'll get to him soon. He's a mess in himself. So far, um, Skeptic's motivation makes sense for resetting the world and making people free to use quirks whenever they want. Because in all honesty, if I had a superpower, I'd be happy to use it for whatever I want. And I, I wouldn't say just stealing, like, in general, doing little tricks, showing off to my friends, like, doing little daily chores. But the thing is that he didn't see Shigaraki's full motivation. Shigaraki's full motivation is that he wants to destroy literally everything. I'm not sure if Shigi wants to destroy even himself, but he wants to destroy everyone and everything. Which is what he almost did with Registro. So, in a way, Skeptic's motivation makes more sense, while Shigaraki's doesn't. And Skeptic doesn't know that Shigaraki has this nonsensical motivation of destroying completely everything. Skeptic just thinks Shigaraki's just targeting certain people. And yes, while Skeptic is correct to think that Tamura is targeting certain people, he is indeed targeting All Might, Deku, Stain, and much more other people he hates and other villains. I don't know why Tomura targets other villains. Don't, don't ask me why. It's so bizarre. He even targeted Redestro and I don't get that about Skeptic's personality. His motivation makes more sense than his personality and we'll get to that right now. So Skeptic is very calm, reserved, and organized to the point he carries a laptop with him everywhere he goes. He's very deeply inclined with the organization, the Men of Liberation Army, and he's highly attached to his boss's Redestro's wishes. And what I like about him is he's a shout out to the Gorillas Band. He's in charge of the company Feel Good Incorporated, which I really love that shout out. His design, I absolutely love. It also kind of reminds me of an Ed and Eddie character in a way, but back to the topic. He's very calm, cool, calculated, and he has an awesome quirk that can make clones out of objects. He literally could take an object and morph it into a clone with his hands, as well as give them certain letters like A, object B, object C, anything. 
and he uses this to his advantage in order to battle twice. And that's the thing, they wanted to put the League of Villains in fear in order for them to override the League of Villains and take over their motivations. And it, the, like I said, the League of Villains motivations don't line up with the Meta Liberation Army and what they're trying to do. Which was understandable that they were trying to murder these guys at first. But what doesn't make sense about Skeptic's personality here is right once everything goes to crap, he keeps on saying to himself that nothing goes wrong. I always do things right. <laughs> Everything goes according to plan, even though everything's going to crap, and he took his sweet time to crack Toka's neck in this scene. I mean, my gosh, doesn't it take only several seconds to snap someone's neck? Why, why did he take forever with that? It, like I said, he's very scary looking when he's angry, but he doesn't condone on his actions. And he was battling twice in this saga, so I, I don't get why he was so slow to snap Toka's neck. Was he, just, was he just waiting for twice to clone himself? I know he cloned twice out of the furniture and tormented twice with his own clones, but was he just slowly waiting for him to get over that fear? It's just so weird. I I'll show you the clip. <laughs> And it took him so long to snap that neck. Like, right after it cuts away from her, it cuts back to twice and it cuts back to his thoughts in his head. And then it cuts back to them. They're still slowly turning her head to snap her neck. <laughs> Timing! The Skeptic purposely did that in order for the League of Villains to join the Metal Liberation Army. And yeah, spoilers, they join forces, which I don't get- it doesn't make sense in a way. Because Toga killed Curious, one of Skeptic's partners, mind you. In the manga, they all mourned her death and then covered it up with a news article saying her death was accidental, which is pretty nonsensical and disrespectful in a way. Why would you say that about one of your partners and cover it up with that? What the heck? Skeptic used Feel Good Incorporation to cover it, no less. And even though he didn't see her fall, he heard about her death, and he knew that Toga caused her death. So, what I'm saying here is, his personality doesn't make sense. When someone kills his colleagues, he thinks everything is perfect! He never makes mistakes, he never fails once, he's a fake perfectionist. And that's the thing that bugs me about Skeptic. He's a perfectionist that isn't even perfect. And don't get me wrong, you could write this in a way that it could be correct and it could be awesome. He's a missed opportunity, that's what I'm saying. In a way, if you could make Toga an actual hero who kills villains, I could understand that. And she betrayed the League, that would make more sense. Then he would be mad at Toga. And even when she goes against him, and even when it's hard for him to kill her, he at least tries to kill her, and not in this very slow way. He would stick all the clones on her at once, and not make them slowly, like, twist her neck, but instead, quickly twist it. And I know <laughs> the creator doesn't like killing off Toga, he loves Toga to death, but Besides this part, there were plenty of times where Toga almost died, and I'll get to that during my Curious video. Skeptic has a great motivation, great design, great concept, but a very <coughs> personality. It makes no sense whatsoever. And that's the only thing I don't like about Skeptic. His personality does not make sense. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. And remember to watch my other videos, like my little Sonic video, it's a crossover between Sonic and My Hero. It's not for all ages, but <laughs> you get the idea. It's very short, it's sweet, you'll love it, it's hilarious, it's got a Spongebob reference in there. And you could watch my other Needs More Love videos as well, those need more views. Have a good day, bye bye! <laughs>